Hello, I'm Juan, and uh, here I'm going to speak about uh, the construction of my house in Brazil, in the state of Bahia, in the interior of Bahia, a city called Lençóis, outside from the city. Um, I had some previous experience before um, building my house, which I'm going to detail here in this uh, series of um, videos. And um, as you see, uh, it was built over an old house that I made myself with Super Adobe. Um, so I had some experience uh, with uh, earth uh, building uh, materials. Um, that's what I did, the house that you can see there, which I didn't finish. And uh, I didn't plan that well. It was something that uh, spontaneously came into being. Um, but um, at the end I decided um, to uh, destroy it and build another one and uh, at that moment uh, here um, when I started building this new house I didn't I, I thought I was going to reuse parts of it but uh, then I decided to completely destroy it as the, the new house evolved um, so um, let's begin Yeah, that's the uh, previous house, which took me several years, two, three, four years to do it, um, basically alone with the help of one person. Hello? Então vai ter um, um pilão de uns ali? Yeah. Now this is the beginning of the of the new house. Uh, it all started doing these uh, holes, which uh, will sustain the columns, the foundational columns, and this holes um, have um, yeah, steel and cement cement um, as a base, a thick base to, to sustain all those columns, which you will see um, soon. So it all starts making a lot, a lot of columns in a, in a grid, in a square grid. There, um, before you could see that uh, he was working on the on, on removing earth because this was full of uh, it, it wasn't a flat ground. Um, so yes, these are the first holes, which will make a square. The lines there align uh, align the holes to to be precise. Earth so is working on the grid. On the, on the steel grid for the foundation. And uh, so at the beginning it was just lots, lots of holes and uh, taking a lot of dirt out of the way. So I started with two persons initially. Um, but then uh, I, I saw that um, I, at the beginning I wanted to start with only one person which had a lot of experience and I liked but then uh, uh, that person convinced me uh, against my will at the beginning to hire another one um, as professional as him so the, it, I started with two but since there was a lot of side work uh, the one that you can see below left there uh, was the third one that I took which was a lower class worker less uh, experienced um, which was taken to to help uh, removing all the earth that was around the borders of the house and that guy took another guy so at the end I ended up with two professional constructors and two uh, which had less experience that were like helpers. Uh, so uh, even though I wanted to start with one, it rapidly, very rapidly uh, evolved into a team of four, at least initially. Uh, so that you can see that there was trees on the way, a lot of earth. That tree um, 
took some time to, to give me notes. But that guy is pretty strong. He's the one that uh, that did all the strong work. The other one is very resistant. And those two guys are like the most professional ones, are all very strong actually. You can see there already that there's some some holes. It starts to to be noticeable. And okay. there you can see also the, the columns, the the steel which will go inside the the columns. water tubes um, and that um, that uh, due to a flooding in the city they they, 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 they they got destroyed from the from the water system of the city they got destroyed and the river took them and the people uh, in that city uh, found them found like 10 or 15 of those tubes and they were used in construction like this um, so these were the last tubes that we could get our hands on. Um, so um, not all were perfect, but uh, they were pretty good. And um, I think this will be the last house which will be able to use those tubes because now they're very damaged. Um, you can't find them easily anymore. So um, it's going to be very hard to build a house with uh, those type of columns uh, anymore uh, here at least due to that because if you have to buy those tubes new they are very very expensive so there they are putting them right in place very vertical there they're making cement, cement with sand and taken from the river, the river which is very nearby. I was pretty impressed to see these guys working manually with the cement like this. Very fast. <laughs> that guy in green looks thin, but he one of the strongest ones. You will see later how strong he can be. I, I got impressed several times. There you can see how they get it well vertical with that tool. And that guy there is working on the water um, on the uh, on the like tank which will receive all the uh, rests uh, from the toilet you know um, basically shit pee all that will be placed on a tank uh, that's the way they do it here so that it gets well contained and it's a little bit outside of the house that's my son he helped I was 14 at the time his hands were a little bit damaged, hurting a bit due to the shovel work. And there you can see the columns starting to, to appear. Small at the beginning, but, but they quickly got pretty high. Mm -hmm. 
and you can see that more and more column starts to appear and now they're getting them higher once they had a certain height they got higher that guy working on the Google tank, uh, I know him from since, since he's a kid. All those guys uh, come from my neighborhood, from the nearest neighborhood. I live on the outskirts of the of the city, a bit in the in the woods. But uh, less than a kilometer from here, uh, there's a neighborhood. All those guys come come from that neighborhood. That's my smallest son there. And that's the column finished. Uh, at least the first ground column because there will be, uh, I didn't know then, but there, it evolved into a house with three floors. At the beginning it was just meant to be one floor, but uh, rapidly uh, the ideas changed. Uh, they evolved into three. I didn't plan this like uh, with an architect, so it's uh, pretty much uh, organic growth. Mm -hmm. the, ho the house was built organically, let's say. The evolution. I'm that okay. That's the sewer system. Hey, was an adolescent at the time. <laughs> The cut inside. Does that feel that's a lane?